Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit here the Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Hamilton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7 30 p.m. Sunday evening. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523. Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now select you from the Holy Temple to sing the radio choir. Dedicate to our radiance is entitled, Yes, Lord.
provided to God for the service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Dante Clinton, my chief is here to headquarters temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday noon. Now, in case you're interested in reading something for literature, the other address is Bishop Dalton Greenfield, Box 523, Bronx, New York, Zip Code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. To all the bishops, elders, ministers, deacons, brother in charge of work, holy greeting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our blessed Savior, Son, and King. Thanking him for his great love and mercy towards us in these last and closing days of the sixth dispensation. I thank God for the great hope we have in God. We are approaching our annual new people, young people, our former church, and new fellowship service, which will be convened at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York, on Thursday, November the 23rd, 2023. Prayer will begin at 1 p.m., followed by a challenge service and preaching. We encourage all of you to come and attend. Please come and support this great work and be on time. You all have my sincere prayer, brother. Love out of the depth of my heart. With much love and sincerity. I look forward to seeing you all, but if for some reason you cannot attend, do the best to send in a good report to help in these great and needy calls. <coughs> Make all checks payable to the Holy Temple Church. Peace be unto you all. Remain yours. Continue for the faith. <coughs> Bishop Dutton Green, Pastor, Pastor, and General C. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Assistant Pastor, Eric, Minister Eric Manny, Young People, President of the Young People. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next voice you hear, Assistant Pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel. What the great salvation, what a wonderful way. It's going to be 
Just like God said it. Thank God for the song. Because indeed, it is a great salvation. We must say it's a wonderful way. Uh, God said he came and he prepared before the face of all people. The world won't have no excuse. Hallelujah. The world won't have no Hallelujah. excuse. Say, if I have not come and yes. done among you, the work which no other man could have done. God, amen. Amen. God, the world don't have no excuse. Amen. Amen. That's God. why I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful to God Almighty for such a great salvation Hallelujah. and such a wonderful way. Yes. Realize he didn't have to do it, but he did. And I'm praising God night and day for his great love yes. and his tender mercy. Man. It is a great salvation. Oh, yes. I got Praise them and picked him up in Luke chapter 2, yes. I believe verse 26. My God, and praise and bless God that the eyes God bless it to see such great salvation. I believe in the book of Luke, chapter 2, can start at the 26th verse. Anyway, you be allowed to hear by the Holy Ghost. Yes, start from the 25th. And behold, behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. Hallelujah. And the same man was just and devout. Just and devout. Waiting for the consolation of Israel. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel. For the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. Holy Ghost was upon him. It was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. And he should not see death. Hallelujah. Amen. Holy Ghost. My God, that's what building the church. Said, that he should not see death. Before he had seen the Lord Christ. Read on. And he came by the Spirit in the temple. Came by the Spirit in the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus. Yes. To do for him as the custom of the law. Yes. Then took he up him up in his arms. And God took him up in his arms. And blessed God. And blessed God. He said. And said, Lord, now, Lord, now, let thy servant depart in peace. Let thy servant depart in peace. Depart in peace. According to thy word. Hallelujah. According to thy word. To thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation. My God said, my eyes. Glory to thy. Hallelujah. Yes. They were waiting for it. So many went on, of the prophet went on, yes. waiting by God, but God bless him to see his salvation. Which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Before, you know, the world won't have no excuse when Jesus come. He prepared it before the face of all people. Before the face. A light to lighten the Gentile. Uh, before the face of all people. How many people? All people. Because before the face of all people. Of all the world will have no excuse. Yeah. Romans chapter 2. My God. You know the world don't have no excuse. Romans chapter 2 and verse 1. Yes. Hallelujah. He prepared it. Before the face of all people. How many people? All people. That's why he said, Thou old man. <laughs> Romans chapter 2 and 1. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, old man. My God, wherever you are, you have no excuse. Therefore, thou art inexcusable. Hallelujah. Old man. The world won't have no excuse when he comes. He came and he prepared before the face. All of all people. And because of that, therefore, thou inexcusable, thou old man, or inexcusable, old man, rich and poor, high and low, the Holy Ghost said, thou art inexcusable, inexcusable, old man, old man, 
whom shall the heart the judges? Hallelujah. You know, the world won't have no excuse when Jesus comes. He came and he done a work which no other man could have done. He tastes death for every man. Hallelujah. I believe that's in Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. That he, by the grace of God, should taste death. Titus. Two. Yes. For right. the grace of God. The grace of God. That bringeth salvation. That bringeth salvation. Salvation. Has appeared to all men. All right. Amen. It's up to you to accept it or reject it. But God going to give you a chance before you leave here. That's why he said, Thou art inexcusable. Yes. Oh, man. Who said thou art? Why? Because the grace of God that bringeth salvation. Hallelujah. That bringeth salvation. Has appeared to all men. My God, when it appeared to you, it's something to thank God. My God, it have appeared to all men. To all men. God. All men. All men. All men. All men. All men. Wherever you are. My God, he's going he gonna to bring it to you or bring you to me. My God, the grace of God that bringeth salvation yes. have appeared unto how many men? All men. Not some men. All men. But all men. All men. Teaching us. Hallelujah. Teaching us. That denying ungodliness and worldly lusts. God, you're going to have to deny something oh, yeah. to come to God. God. Something, yeah. whatever you hook to, whatever you hold it on to, God. you're going to have to deny it. Yes. Teach it now. God, it is your world, it does. God, somebody. Hallelujah. You're going to have to deny. I don't care. My it, what? I don't care how, how dear it is to you. My God, how precious it is. My God, you're going to have to count it all lost. I don't care what it is, you're going to have to deny. Yes. My God, if any man will come after me, Jesus said, let him do what? Take deny. you got to deny. Hallelujah. Somebody got to deny. My God, you know every one of us in here, it's something you got to deny to follow Jesus. My God, I'm so glad. I'm so glad he gave me the boldness. My God, and the courage and strengthen us to deny whatever you were hooked to. My God, you said no longer. No longer. Hallelujah. Teach it Ungodliness. We should have so people are lusting. My God, people are holding on to the vanity. But my God, you know it's a blessing when you can give it up for Christ. Paul says, I suffered the loss of what? All, all things. And count it but down. Whatever you're holding on to, when you can deny it. I thank God you can look in the word of God and you can see the life you're living. Teaching us ungodliness. Deny. deny. Yes, sir. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall a man give in extreme? You ask yourself the question. Wherever you are, hearing on this radio broadcast, wherever you are, on the face of the earth. We got a, a message from our sister who do the social media. Sister Stone said, to over a million people, over a million of you are inexcusable. You have no excuse. The more you hear it, the more you're going to give a count oh, to yes. us. Amen. My Amen. God, if you fail to humble yourself, my God, you're going to stand before God. Sing a song, so when you're questioned by God Almighty, for the gospel you heard, what 
Well, your answer be, you're going to have to give account to God. You won't have no excuse. Rich and poor, young and old. Do you hear what the word of God said? Then now, godliness. It's up to you now. It's up to you. Yes. The grace of God. That bring it salvation. That bring it to give them chapter and verse again. Time is I want to make again. it plain. My Time God. To the end. grace of God. That bring it salvation. I'm going to bring it to you. Why we are the other? I'm so glad to say it. I know you won't have no excuse. Yes, I don't care where you are. Yeah. I'm going to reach you. My God, I can, I can tell you my own self as an example at a young age out there playing cricket, playing the ball game. My God, a sport that I love so much. Tell my friends, my God, when I'm 65 years old, I'll be still in the ricket. But God said, what? Your ways. Now, eh, his, my way was God's way. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. I thought when I'm 65 years old, I'd be still in the wicked. But my God, what a mighty God we serve. At the age of 20 years old, my God, you know, playing my ball game, turning my, my, my radio dial to tune into the game that I love so much. I got God out my way to bring it to you. How are you going to bring you to it? I were all the way over in uh, Jamaica, West Indies, getting ready to go to Can 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 Canadian Raider College to study. My God, they sent me a welcome letter package. I'm getting ready to head on. But what a mighty God we serve while I'm there preparing myself. Here come, tune into my sport, my cricket. My God playing overseas. One o'clock in the one, between one and two in the morning. Here come, I heard this man on the radio. I don't care where you were born, raise our group. You got to repent. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We were brought up. My mother brought me up under the Church of England religion. My God, you know, we never, I never know nothing about baptism. I never know nothing about Acts 238. But what a mighty God we serve. When it please God, yes. hallelujah, that separated me from my mother's womb to reveal God will bring this thing to you. I know you ain't gonna have no excuse. Just like he brought it to me. My God, at the age of 20, my God, I heard the man of God by way of prayer. You got to repent. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Never know nothing. But uh, something move upon me. Say, write that, write the name and address. My God, I write it. And uh, I wrote it. Five minutes, I heard that broadcast. Tell him I was blessed to hear the broadcast in the island of Jamaica. I'm getting ready to go to Canada to study. But hope one, he's what I wrote my hope one day I have the opportunity when you come to the U.S. to meet you in the U.S. I said, who tell him I'm coming to the U.S.? I'm going to Canada. But God said, what God said? Our way. Isaiah? Yes. 55, I believe. My God, my God. You know God is a mighty God. Yes. God is a great God. Somebody need to seek ye the Lord. My God, and verse 6. Seek ye the Lord. Seek ye the Lord. All he may be found. My God, you better humble yourself right now. And wherever you are, beg God to have mercy Hallelujah. upon you. Tell God, condition the heart. Yes. Seek ye the You're not too young. I was at the age of 20. My God, I began to make a turn. Seeking the Lord, 
while he may be found. Call you upon you. Call. Have you got to call upon God? My God, before you know it, what a mighty God. You know, if you want to do, go right, God will lead you right. If you have a mind to go right, he will lead you right. God turn around and open up a school right in midtown Manhattan before Madison Square God. I got a 31st Street, a school advertised back and the same course I was going to Canada, they offered me the same course. Came on to, to, to the United States. What a mighty God we serve. If you want to do right, God will lead you right. Oh, yes. Then let me here to the United States. At the age of 21 years old, I came here. My God, in February. My God, 18, 19, 1976. And then I had uh, the 22nd of February, 1976. Came here the Wednesday night. The Sunday, I came to church and met the late Bishop Ronald Goodwin and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He led me forward on the right way. I'm telling you, you ain't going to have no excuse when you stand before God Almighty. If he led me right, he will lead you right. Listen to what the word of God said. Isaiah 55. You go around and run around and blame it on your youth. I didn't have mother. I didn't have father. Father done gone. He done gone. Without it, my mother, my God, I didn't have no family member here with me in the church. Oh, but I cling to that old ragged cross. Listen what the word of God. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. While he may be found. While he may be found. Call you upon him. Call. Call you better him. open your mouth wherever you are. In the liquor, in the bar room. In the lick drink, in the liquor back like your head. Adultery, fornication, all kind of wickedness. You better, you better drop that liquor bottle and cry out to God. Have mercy on my soul, Lord. I need help. If you need help, God will help you. Seek it alone. Wherever you are here in this gospel, you need to cry out to God right now. Seek it alone. Thank God for mercy. While he may be found. Hallelujah. You better open your mouth and cry out to Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, one place, a blind man said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. You can wherever you are, the devil tell you, you can't come out of it. You can come out. There is a way out. He tastes death for every man. So you can come out. Don't tell me you can't come out. Whatever you wrap up with, hallelujah, there is a way out. There is a way out. Whatever you wrapped up in, there is a way out. Seeking the Lord. Hallelujah. You gotta get busy now. He can be found. The day come, you're gonna seek him a whole fight in. Seeking the Lord. Wherever you are, my God, whatever you hope to now. Something might have your glue. Hey, God, you better break loose. You might glue to it. God Almighty, whatever you have your eyes stuck in, you better give it up. Your liquor backer, my God, your nightclub, your bingo, and whatever game and sport you play, you better say no longer. What's the matter? I'm going to seek God. Seek it alone. I'm going to need help. I'm going to get busy. I'm going to cry out to God. I'm going to seek it alone. Why he may be found. I'm going to do what? I call him upon him. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Tell God I need help. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thy God that that man said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy wherever you are out there. 
here in this broadcast, not yet baptized. You better call Jesus. You need help. Call him. Call him. Yes. Up and who? Read it for me. Seek you up. Call your father. Up and him. Why is he there? It's time to call him. It's near now. Oh, yes. You know this thing is near? Yeah. It's near now. Why well, is it near? God, if the world can out there, I hear the world of people talking. God can come anytime. My God, we the saints of God. We are to look in for that blessed hope. You know it's near now. It's near now. Oh, it's yes. time for you all to run in here. You that are not yet baptized. My God, it's near now. Ain't no time to linger. Ain't no time to play around now. Call here upon him. Oh, it's near. It's near, beloved. It's near. Let the wicked forsake his way. Whatever you got to break loose from. I, I'm giving up. My God, I drop my butt. I give up my discotheque. I used to be out there doing discotheque. Playing my King Arifai disco. My God, my friends cry. Everybody, my mother cry. You're getting rid of your disco? No longer. No longer! What's the matter with you? I'm going to seek the Lord. I'm going to seek the Lord. My God, uh, my ball teammate, my God, he couldn't believe. I taught him the game of cricket. He, came, he said, Clive, I'm playing with all these big professionals, and you done gone. He came all the way and came to New York City and came in the old church building and met Bishop Good. He said, I want to see what, what, what break you away from this spoke. But let me tell you, my soul was at stake. He came and he met Bishop Goodwin and hear him preaching, God, one and only, true plan of salvation. You know what he tell me? Clive, stay where you are. My God, he went on back to the world. But what a blessing saying when you have a well-made-up mind. He didn't have to tell me to stay. My mind was made up. I left all. Hallelujah. Seeking the Lord. While he may be found. While he may be oh, found. Find God, he up and he is near. While he's near now. Don't let the wicked, oh, let the wicked whatever you got to forsake, to get close to God. My God, you need to give it up. Let the wicked forsake his way. The unrighteous man. Unrighteous man. Let him return unto the Lord. It's time to come on to God now. It's time to come now. It's time to come. Yes. God speak at once, yea, twice. In a dream, my God vision at night when deep sleep falleth upon me. It's time for you to come now. I'll let him return. Lord. Hallelujah. Come on back to God. Let him return. Wherever you are, God said return. Return. Mercy upon you. God is such a merciful God. Yes, he is. He's such a merciful God. He will have mercy. Hallelujah. Peter called him the Father of mercy. Yes. The God of all comfort. He will have mercy. He's a merciful God. Wherever you are right now, I'm hearing this. It's real broad God. And the this sound of a voice. It's time for you to get busy and beg God for mercy. Tell God, oh Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on my soul. Will you eat? Have mercy upon him. Up and him. And draw down for he will abundantly part. God is a merciful God. Yes, he is. He took it out the way. Hallelujah. Come on. He will abundantly part. Do you hear what God said? Hallelujah. What? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Are not your thoughts? Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. My ways was when I'm 65 years old. But it wasn't God. And my thought wasn't God's thought. That's it. At the age of 21, 
Ah, if God here I am, give up everything. Baptize in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Rise to walk in the newness of life. God bless me and fill me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Whatever you're holding on to, first give it up. Let the wicked it's his ways. It's a blessing when you can forsake something. Uh, praise God. To come to God. Hallelujah. If I'm saying to it's a blessing. Oh yes. People, you better Hallelujah. get Get me Matthew. Chapter I believe 19. And verse 25th verse. My God, Peter, 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 and his brother Andrew. They were in the ship. My God casting out the net. They were fishermen. But God told them, he called them out the ship. I believe that. Go, go back over there a little bit. Then I'm coming back to Matthew 19, 25. Yes. But to start at, I think it's Matthew 4 and 16, if I'm not mistaken. Matthew 4, 16. Matthew. What, what a blessing when you can give up all to follow God. Thanks, you don't know how good a feel. 48 years, I'm still every day with Jesus. It's sweeter than the day before. It's getting sweeter. Oh, yes. It's not getting bitter. I feel so good in God. Listen to what he said. I believe this. Uh, Matthew chapter 4. And verse 16, the people would stand in darkness. My God. Saw great light. You know, if you can see great light, it's a great light. Which sat in darkness. Saw great light. Saw great and light. And them which sat in the region of shadows of death. Hallelujah. Light would spring up. Light. You know this thing will spring up? Light. It spring up. It spring up. From that time. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, and listen this now, and to say, repent, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If it was at hand then, it's closer now. It's near now. It's getting closer. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Is at hand? He can come anytime. Read on. And Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee. He walking by the Sea of Galilee. Saw two brothers, Simon and Peter. Simon and Peter. And Andrew, his brother, casting the net into the sea. They were casting the net. For they were fishers. They were fishers. And he said they were fishermen. My God, what a mighty God. Read on. And he said unto them, follow me. Follow me. And I will make you fishers of men. What a blessing. When you can, when you can put away everything to follow Jesus, He said, "Follow me." I will make you fishes of men. Hallelujah! My God, He called them out the Oh, I was called them out out the ship. My God, they put away the net. Follow me. I will make you fishes of men. Read on. And they straightway left their net. Let whatever you got to leave to follow God, give it up. Whatever you got to put aside yes. to follow him, give it up. Give it up. I left my family. My God. Give it up. Straight way. They left their net and follow him. And follow him. Praise God. Read on. And going on from thence, Read on. we saw other two brothers, James and the son of Zebedee. Hallelujah. And John his brother. He saw James. Yes, the son of Zebedee. Who then were there. And John, his brother, yes, they, were there the with, they were there with their father Zebedee mm -hmm. in the ship. Their father mending their net. Mending their and net. He called them. Oh, what a blessing when you can answer the master call. He called them. And they immediately left the ship. Whatever you got to leave to follow God. You that are out there, whatever you're hooked to right now. Yes. What you got, if work your while, give it up to follow God. They immediately left the ship. Left the ship. And their father and, and their father. And, and followed him. They leave their father Zebedee in the ship. And went and followed Jesus. Yes. Go on over now to, to birth, uh, Matthew 19. Uh, and Verse 25th verse, got a hidden stack before 
sometimes fail me. Read on. Right, God. I don't have no regret. I don't have no regret. I don't know what happened to my old teammate now. I don't know whether he's alive or whatever he's doing, but I leave him at the age of 19. Yes. My God, whoever you got to leave out there to follow Jesus, look what, look what James and John did. They leave their father Zebedee and follow Jesus. Read on. When his disciples heard it, heard it, there was a senior man saying, saying, who then can be saved? Read on. But Jesus beheld them. Beheld them. And said unto them. Said unto them. But man, this is impossible. You yes, see, sir. the devil is a liar. Yes, he make it look so hard. Yes, sir. It make it look so impossible. Yes. With man. This is impossible. This is impossible. With God, all things are possible. You got to, whatever you're back to him, you got to come and leave him God. When you come to God, the Holy Ghost said, he that cometh to God must believe that he is and is a rewarder of all them that diligently. Whatever, you and you're coming to God, you got to have a well-made up mind. Lord, hallelujah. The devil tell you not able, but do it with God, with man. If it is impossible, but I'm coming, I'm Lord, I'm looking at you, but with God, hallelujah. He can turn the impossible into possible with God. All things. How many things? All things. I don't care how hard it looks. God can make it possible. All things. All things. The devil is a liar. Yes, all things. All things. All things. Hallelujah. All things. All things. All things. Yes. If you do it right. And sometimes there ain't no secret. What the God can do. Yes. What he done for others. Yes. He can do it for you. Yes. If you do it for this one. I believe he can do it. For me, with arms wide open, he will pardon me. Ain't no secret, just go to God, trust in God. My God, with man, yes, with man, this is impossible. In the eyes of man, this is impossible. The back of that, you find him looking possible. But what? But with God, I'm doing it true, God, and my God. Oh, oh, Pastor Paul said, having obtained help from God, he was able to continue. You know God will help you in that back of your end, but with God. All things. How many things? All things. Not something, but all, all things. things. Read on. All possible. All possible. Then answer Peter. Hallelujah. Praise God. Say, oh, Peter, yes. I'm the Peter. And said unto him, said unto him, Behold, Behold, we have forsaken all. You know there are some people following God, they don't give up everything. There are some people over here, they don't have a manner, they don't have a problem. Somebody sing a song without manner, without father, without brother, and without sister. I got to make this journey. All alone. Sometimes the journey gets so friendless. Sometimes, hallelujah, hallelujah. it gets so lonely. Hallelujah. But just remember, he promised us he won't leave us nor forsake us. That when the bowl and say, the Lord is my helper. God won't forsake you, even though I know no king folks with you. We have left all. Yes. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. Lord, we have left all. And follow thee. Somebody done left everything. To follow Jesus. Read on. Follow thee. What shall we then have? What shall we have there for? Yes. Jesus said unto them. Jesus said, Lord, I done you call me out my ship. And James and John said, we don't leave our father in the ship. 
I need my father family to follow you. My God, Peter said, we are an we left all. What you going to give us in return? Read on. Jesus said unto them, Jesus said unto them, I say unto you, I say unto you, I say unto you, that ye which shall follow me, read on, me in this regeneration, yes, when the Son of Man, read on, shall sit in his throne, Yes, of his glory. Hallelujah. He also shall sit upon the twelve thrones. Read on. Judging the tribe, twelve tribes of Israel. Read on. And everyone. Listen this now. You everyone. Know, saying that's the blessing. You know, you can open, you can open the word of God. You can open the Bible and say, everyone. Not what? Everyone that has forsaken house. No, that's me. Oh, brother. You know you can see your life in the Bible. I don't need my brother. Or sister or father. I don't need my sister. Or father. I don't need father die. Or mother. I don't need my mother hug me around the column and beg me and cry on my shoulder. Son, what running your way from the house? You my lost child. The house is yours. My God, I told my mama I got to go. She break down in tears and I shed a few tears. But I said, Mama, I got to go. You can open the world and you see your life and you say, Lord, I thank you. That's me. Thank God. You got to leave something to follow God. I left mother. I left brother. I leave sister. I leave houses. But what? Wife or children or land. Some of you have to leave wife. Children, land, read on. What my name said. And you did it by his name said. Then shall receive a hundredfold. Read on. And shall inherit everlasting life. Say it. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. The singer song said. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. I'm suffering. But I'll have a last in life. I'm gonna inherit everlasting life. Everlasting life. Talk about me as much as you want. But as long as I got a seed in God's kingdom, that's alright. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Hallelujah. Abraham, when he was called, he, he obeyed. He went out. Not knowing where we going. I want the world to know I have ever lost in life. Ever lost in life. And in fact, we are shouting over here. We are praising God. We are praying night and day. And in all night prayer. Why? Ever lost in life is free. Be confidence of this very thing. He that began a good work in us, he going to perform it. My God, God bless you. You've got to repent. you got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank God. You know, I feel like giving God a hand clap. And I'll ask him now. God bless you, told him. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. He chose us, saints. He chose us to be a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. That's why we so happy. God bless you. God keep you. Call us up. We'll be back next week, Lord's Day. Yeah. Station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718. Five eight four zero six nine one. International phones can call us by this number eight zero three five one eight five four five four. You can also visit us on the web at www.theholytemperatures.com. Then you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemperatures.com. Until then, God bless you. Bless you.
can cause and trigger to take the number part. Parents that take the number part. But you know what? I got lost back and forth, but I went out, not knowing where he went. Where he went. By faith. By faith. It's a journey in the land of promise. This is a this is a faith journey. This is a journey. In the land of promise. That's in strange country. Strange country. Brother in Tabernacle with Isaac and Jacob. Read on. The heads with him of the same promise. Read on. For you look for a city which had foundations. He looked, he was looking for something. Yes, which had foundation. Foundation. Builder and maker is God. Is God. Through faith also. Yes. Sarah herself also received strength. Read up. To conceive seed. Read up. And was delivered of a child when she was past eight. Past eight. Because she judged him faithful. Say, you got to, you got to hold it. If God said it, I believe it. He judged him faithful. And who had promised. God promised. He judged him faithful. <laughs> who have promised. Yes. Read on. Therefore it's praying there even one of one. Yes. As him as good as dead. Read on. So may as the stars of the sky. Read on. Another sand which is by the seashore of the new world. Read on. These all died in faith. You know, somebody's going to hold the faith. That's it, Bishop. Everybody not going to give up the faith. Amen. These all died in faith. Somebody going to go down. Praise God. Holding on to faith. Hallelujah. You know, somebody going to go down. Holding on to faith. These all died in faith. In faith. Having received the promise. Read up. Not having received Not the promise. Not received the promise. Not having seen them afar off. Seen them afar off. But persuaded of them. You know, you got to be persuaded over here. You got to be fully persuaded of them. You can't let nothing turn you. It's so much you're going to come up against. Oh, yes. Along this highway of holiness, Paul's you bearing my body the mark. And the dying of our Lord Jesus. But don't let nothing turn your saints. You going to come. He said, whatever Mary tell, tell them, whatever he tell you to do, do it. Do it. And we're thinking about this. And a, a lot of people don't get the victory. He said, men are always to pray and not to faint. People do everything, but when it comes time for prayer, they go and they cut out and pray. But the Holy Ghost said, Luke 18 and 1. Oh, yes, sir. What is it? Luke 18 and 1. Yes. Luke 18 and 1. And he spake the parable unto them to this end. Yes. That men ought to always to pray. And yes, not to think. Always? Always to pray. Do you hear what he tell us to do? Always to pray. Always to do what? Pray. And not to think. Yes, sir. Always to pray. Praise God. And not to do what? Not to think. I think it's in St. John 2. Get me that part with the, uh, the, the marriage, the wedding in Canaan, where he turned the water into wine. Yes. But before he turned it, and they said that wine ran out, Mary told us the wine, or the need wine. He said, what do I have to do with this? You know what Mary told him? You got that part? Go ahead, Bishop. You can get that said John 2. Jesus said unto her, Yes. What, what have I to do with thee? What do I have? That's enough to make her back up. Woman, <laughs> give them chapter and verse. Uh, St. John chapter 2, verse 4. Yes. Jesus said unto her, Woman, Woman, what have I to do with you? Why you come tell me about the wine right now? What do I have to do with thee? Yes. Listen, my to hour me. is not yet come. My hour is not yet come. But listen what Mary said. His mother said unto them, said Sir? unto the servant, Yes. What some he said unto you? Listen. Do. Don't worry. I, don't, I didn't know he tell me this. Don't worry about that. Watch the power. He said unto you, do it. 
whatsoever he said unto you, do it. This is the part the flesh don't love to do. That's it. It's Men are always to pray. To pray. And not to pray. But you know, flesh don't want to do this. Get me Ephesians 6 18, I believe. The flesh will go around everything. Whatsoever. And it's going to do it. Do it. St. John, I mean, Ephesians 6 18. 6.18. What is it? 6.18. Yes. Praying always. Praying how? Always. With all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Paul came right behind him. Whatever he tell you to do, do it. Paul came behind him. Praying always. And he said praying always. With all prayer and supplication. You see a lot of time the picture slip away from us. You know why it slip away? There's a reason why. Romans 10. I'm drawing it up. Just sit down. Romans 10, 16. This will can, that's what, I, this one can hinder us. Yes. Romans 10, 16. But they have not obeyed the, the, obey the gospel. They have not what? Obey the gospel. But easy as Isaiah says, Lord, but they have not what all obeyed the gospel. That's the part I want. All rub on it. They have not all. They have not all obeyed the gospel. People let the gospel slip. You know, it's a lot of things in there. I was meditating, Bishop Lewis. You know, I was meditating. I said, how? Sometimes he tell us to do things that is hard for the flesh. Yes. Hard on the flesh. But you see, you said, blessed people go and let the ungodly counsel them. Yeah. And leave God counsel. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what they say? The Peter uh, put, David speak this word in Psalms chapter one mm -hmm. and verse one. Amen. You gotta watch who you take in counsel. Amen. Amen. Don't let nobody counsel you against God counsel. Amen. If God said it, Hallelujah. you better do it. Even when the flesh don't want to do it. God can't miss what God does. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Walking not in the counsel of the ungodly. Do you hear what God counsel said? The walk is not. Don't in the let the ungodly, ungodly counsel you to go against God counsel. You can't let that ungodly come and counsel you against God counsel. You know why? Because Proverbs, I believe it's in Proverbs 21 and 30. Yes. Listen what he said. There is. Yes. yes. Get it quick, quick. There is a way. No. 21, 30. Yeah. 21, 30. Yes. There is no wisdom. That's it. There is no wisdom. No understanding. No understanding. No counsel. No what? No counsel. No counsel. Against the Lord. Praise the Lord. You're going to take counsel from yes, men against God's counsel? No. You know, but you, Proverbs, same Proverbs 1 and verse 23, he said, turn you. Turn you at my reproof. At my reproof. Behold. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Read up. I will make my words known unto you. Read up. Because I have called and you refused. Read up. I have stretched out my hands and no man regard. Read up. But you have said in all my counsel with none of my reproof. They don't set God counsel at naught. Yes. And, and with none reproof. of his reproof. But what? I will also laugh at your calamity. Yes. I will mock when your fear cometh. When you feel coming at that You said that not. All God comes with. Yes. Wouldn't be not. Wouldn't do none of his reproof. And you know what he said? In Psalms 19 and verse 7, the law of the Lord is what? Perfect. And you know, this is something You know, Brother Sam? <coughs> Brother Andre, God tells us to do something like perfect. Sometimes he tells us to do something that the flesh hurts. 
Paul came along after Paul got in the church, Paul did, and Paul got in it. He told us to do something that hurt the flesh bad. And you know what he tells us? In second, you want you sure you want? Yes, Bishop. You sure now? I'm get positive. With me now. I'm positive. All right, you say you're positive. That's the second Thessalonians, third chapter and verse 14. You say you want me to go ahead now? <laughs> I'm trying to get around it. Yes. But you want me to go ahead. Second chapter, the third chapter. Verse 14. Yes. What? And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man. Yes, and have Do what? Note that man. And have no company with him. That he may be ashamed. What do you mean by no? They go out there. You know, that's why you have me for some love. That's that. I thank God for Bishop Green. But you know what Bishop Green said? When they leave this, he leaves them. That's a stand he take now. He said, when they leave this, especially leave it and speak against this and fight it. But they have not all obeyed God. If any man Obey not a word by the so, Don't go silent at me now. You no, 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 no. the one telling me, boy. Yeah, go yes, ahead. God bless you. I wasn't going to touch you. No, touch you. Amen. Say, oh, my soul, enter not there. I wasn't going to bother it now. Don't Please complain me now. Bother Mr. Newton. Why are you telling me to go there? But if any man, if any man obey not a word by this epistle, by this epistle, know that man, know that man, and have no company with him. You see what I'm saying? Let me tell you. Look at me. You see what I'm saying? It's not my word, though. I said this. Wait a minute. Come on, Bishop. Before you always say, you hear what he break, you better pull up Paul again. Go to first. Go to Second Timothy, third <laughs> chapter, verse sixteen. Before you jump at me, now you better jump at Paul. All scriptures. How many scriptures? All scriptures given by the inspiration of God. Is this in all? Yes, all scripture. What you said? All scripture. Paul, who made you write this Paul? The inspiration of God. I said. All scriptures. All scriptures given by the inspiration of God is profitable. Profitable? For doctrine. For doctrine. For reproof. For reproof. For correction. For instruction in righteousness. To instruct us how to go right. right. That to instruct us now. All scripture. Given by the inspiration Not of God. Not by me now. Inspiration of God. That the man of God may be perfect. Turn furnish unto all good works. And Peter, run behind him. Peter, you better don't mind Peter. He preached that saving gospel on the day of Pentecost. My God, 3,000 got in it. Peter, I think it's in 2 Peter 1 and verse 20. Let me hear what Peter said. Second Epistle chapter one and verse twenty. Knowing this first, knowing this first, and no prophecy of the Scripture, read on is of any private interpretation. Amen. For prophecy came not in olden time. Not in olden time. By the will of man. It's not something man put together. But who? But by holy man of God. Holy man of God. Respect and they will move by the Holy The Holy Ghost move upon them. Yes. God is the only wise God. He know all men. Amen. And he know what is men. He know what hurt that flesh. Yes. He know what hurt that flesh. So he said, if any man obey not our word by this epistle, by this epistle, know that man. Know that man. And have no company with him. And that he made God out there fighting, criticizing the truth, 
and you run it with them, can do all together except they agree. Praise God. Know that man. Know that man that he may be ashamed. That he may, you don't want them to feel too, they shouldn't oh, feel comfortable around you. That's right. Know that man. Son, I love you. You're my only son. Praise God. Sometimes you might have to cry. I shed a lot of tears. I'm telling you, I'll shed a lot of tears. Somebody said, trouble in my way. I got to cry sometimes. But that's all right. Sometimes you might have to. Sometimes the thing gets so close to you. But oh, consider him. That in you, is always something going against you in this life. It's a word the tabernacle. You're hurting. But read on. Have no company. Have no company with them. With him. Read on. That he may be ashamed. Read on. Yet come not as an enemy. Am I not praying for each and every one? I said, Bishop. Praise the Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Yes. You that begin a good work in them, Lord. Give them a mind to come on back, Lord. Oh, Lord, we need you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I can't go out there. The prodigal son didn't go out there with him. My God, but the prodigal son was looking, hoping, and he going to come on back. One day he came on back. You got to hold it till they come oh, on yes, back. Yes. No damn! And have no company with him. I know you love them. Yeah. That's they right. know you love them. Amen. But you know you've got to obey the word of That's God. That's it. You've got to obey Praise the God. word of God. Paul said, all men forsook him. No man stood with him. But as long as you've got God with you, That's you right. will come. Sometimes you've got to get so friendless. Oh, yes. People that you grew up with, people that you know, play with. You don't know. That's why it's best not even to fight up them and their social media. They're going to put something to your green, your spirit. Might as well you stay on your knees and beg God. Don't go out there and try to follow them and, they, and come back, talk about them and criticize them. Pray for them. Oh, yes. They need prayer, say. Amen. They need prayer. Amen. The people need prayer. Yes. They have to pray for all men. I don't go out there looking up and listen. I don't have nobody social media to tap into. I just keep on praying. Thou who know at the heart of all men. My God, but you got to do what God tells you. Know them. And have no company with them. No company with him. Read on. That you may be ashamed. You want them to be ashamed of yes. the life that God died. You, you done grew up in holiness. You done gone back sticky. Your feet, your leg in the pants. Knowing the Holy Ghost tell you, a woman should yeah. not wait. That which pertain unto a man. And you done so bold now. You lost the fear of God. Praise God. You gone out there with your pants. How can I walk with you? Can two walk together? Except they agree. It ain't gone back now. Paul said, I'll turn you again to the weak. Did Paul not say that? My little children. My God. It's a sad thing when you see people turn. My God, in that nation of the leaf poor, poor and sin. What Paul said, my little children. Then in the third chapter, he called them, oh, foolish gallows. Who I bewitch you, but in Galatians 4 and 7, what did he say? Wherefore there are no more servants. No more servants? Yes, but a son. But a son. And if a son be an heir of God, read on. Christ, how be it? Read on. Then when we knew not God, read on. Ye did service unto them which by nature are no God. Read on. But not after that ye have known God. After you get the knowledge of God. No God of God. No God. And you right. turn away. I'll turn you again. From the holy commandment. I'll turn you It's like a dog. And gone on back to his own plan. That he planted it before. Ashta. What is it? Yes. Okay. I'll turn you again. 
to the weak and daily elements around you you desire to answer to you. How can you turn again? Yeah, to the weak. How you done gone back to the weak and daily elements? And daily elements. Around you you desire again to be in bondage. And then after you done, he who the Son of Man is set free is free indeed. Yeah. Devil take you back into bondage. Put the cuff on you. And take your captive. Come on back after God break the captive. You gone on back into bandage. Read on. Here's your days in mind. Gone back to things in time past, things you never brought up with. Gone on back. My God observing days, months, time. Gone on back. My God pagan holiday. Days and months. Yes, and years. And years. I'm afraid of you. Do you hear? I'm afraid of you. When somebody leave this, it's very scary. Paul said, I'm afraid of who? Afraid of you. I'm afraid of you. This I bestowed upon you, you your labor in vain. He saw where his labor was going in vain. Read God. on. Brother. Bro yes. I beseech you. I beseech you. Be as I am. Read on. For I am as you are. Read on. He has not injured me at all. Do you hear what the man of God said? You haven't injured me at all. You know how to do the crony of the flesh. Look at Bishop Green. All oh, Bishop Green in two. Bishop Goodman in two. Man's eye God and him. Fasting and pray. We are there fasting and pray. It's a lot of infirmity. It's a lot of things. Paul said, oh, would that you knew what a great conflict. Everybody don't know. A lot of infirmity. How to yeah. infirmity. Of the flesh. Of the flesh. I preach the gospel unto you at the first. It's so much. Now you get a devil and you ain't going to. You're going through your fasting and praying. He said, you ain't going to make it true. True infirmity. Of the flesh. Of the flesh. And my temptation. Read out. It's in my flesh. Read out. He despise not. He despise not. No reject. You wouldn't reject it. But you receive me as an angel of God. You know, people care. Thank God for Bishop Green. Oh, thank God for Bishop Goodwin. And then you look that God. After the praise and the turn. And God now be a talking. He said, you receive me. Yes. As, as the angel of God. Listen to this now. Even as Christ Jesus. Even of, as Christ Jesus. Where is then the blessedness? Yeah. I mean, people praise Bishop Goodwin so tough. And God, my God, and sit around and mock him. Bishop Green mocked them, Bishop Johnson, all these men who labor, give their life for this. He said, that's why it's good to know the scripture. Yes. When these things happen, you better look at the word. Ah, oh, yes. And did it to Paul. Read on. Where is then the blessedness, ye speaker? Listen this now. For I bear you record. Paul said, I bear you record. If it had been possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes you know, and given them to me. You know how with this? Oh, I'm on the dark. Hold on. I heard some strong testimony now. But they turned back. They yeah, pluck out their own eyes. Yes. And what? Yes, and Finish have given them to me. Read on. Am I therefore become your enemy? Yes, because yes, I tell yes, you the truth. You see how quick people turn? Yes, Paul said, so one minute you want to pluck your eye, next minute I'm your enemy. <coughs> because I tell you the truth. That's why you got to preach the word. Oh, yes. Preach the word. Oh, yes. Then you, you all, Paul said, all men forsook him. But God stood by him. But preach the word. One minute they want to pluck out their eye and give to him. The next minute, he said, Am I now become your enemy? Yes, because I tell you the truth. And you know what? This is what they have to do. Praise Read on. They exist affect you. 
Somebody come change. That's why you got to watch. Evil oh, yes, communication yes. corrupt good man. Yes. They, did they do it in the days of God? They yes. evil affect the mind yes. of the somebody can come along and see us. That's why I, I see what Bishop said. When they leave this, he leaves them. Praise the Lord, I'm praying for you. Whatever I can do to help you. I do. But I ain't gonna let you see us. I thank you. You're gonna get something out there. And you know why they want to kill an ant? The whole ant's dead. You don't go and sprinkle it on and you just sprinkle it around. You. And one go and step in it and they take it right back to the whole dead. And it kill everyone. Something can go out there and you can pick up a spirit and you come back here with it. Seriously affect you. Not well. What? But not well. Not well. Yea, they will exclude you. Read up. That ye might affect them. May affect them. But it is good to be serious afterward, afflicted always in a good thing. In a good thing. And not only when I am present with you. But really listen this. This is what I'm finishing up. Read up. My little children. Listen this now. My little children. And my children and birth again unto Christ. Read on. Before. Who I travail, read on. Until Christ be born in you. Until what? Born in you. Until who? Until Christ be born in you. Otherwise, so they don't even affect you. You don't lost out with God. Now until Christ be formed in, be formed in you. Read on. My little children whom I travail in birth again. Read on. Until Christ be formed in you. Read on. I desire to be present with you. You want to be with them. But what? Now, and to change my voice. Yes. I stand in the other view. Tell me. Do you hear me? He yes. says, I, 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 I desire to be with you, but I got to leave you. Evil communication, corrupt good manners. I got to know you. I'm not going to come to you as an enemy. I'm going to pray for you. Whatever I can do to help you. Until Christ. Yes, be forming you again. I say, God, I don't see nothing for anyone to find. This is the word that God says. If I'm not up to it, you know what I'm going to say? Not like I'm going to say, like Peter, that Lord, increase my faith. God bless you. God keep you. Till Christ be forming you again. We have to split our way. God bless you. Amen.